Well, epilepsy impacts about 1% of the nation. However, 30 to 50% of women with the disease experience more seizures during pregnancy. Now, this can lead to a number of complications that can impact the baby, including fetal heart rate deceleration, miscarriage, and preterm labor and birth. So joining me today is Dr. Suparna Krishnagar and Dr. Catherine Zaroli from UF Health. Thank you both for being here with us this morning. Thank you. So let's just start with, for those who are expecting, uh, can you explain the measures they can take to ensure that their baby is safe through their pregnancy? So that is why we um, set up this uh, clinic, uh, is that they need to get care on a regular basis and uh, make sure that they are uh, seeing their doctors, their OBGYN, as well as the epilepsy specialist and the multidisciplinary clinic. So we are excited that we have this multidisciplinary specialty clinic for pregnant women with epilepsy at UFL Jacksonville. That is amazing. So uh, either of you, you could tell me, uh, what are the type of treatments that uh, these pregnant women will experience at the clinic? Yeah, so they will come to the clinic typically monthly throughout their pregnancy and they'll see one of us. They'll see a social worker who can help them with kind of getting through the insurance information and any social services. They'll see a pharmacist who will go over side effects of medications and risks of medications. And then we have an epilepsy coordinator they'll see as well, which will help them with making appointments and understanding how to go get the blood work and everything. Yeah. That's incredible. So I, we know, unfortunately, some of the symptoms of epilepsy are similar to the symptoms of pregnancy. So how should someone notice a difference? So uh, in pregnant women with epilepsy, there can be some unique challenges. And um, they can have hormonal influences of uh, the pregnancy, which can vary the seizure frequency. And also the pregnancy itself can... Low, uh, can alter the levels of the uh, medications, the anti-seizure medications. Uh, there are also other challenges, like some uh, pregnant women with epilepsy stop taking their medication um, because they are worried about the harmful effects on the baby. And there are some misconceptions about breastfeeding as well. So it is really important uh, that with this unique population that we have education and counseling so that they are able to recognize the symptoms and recognize what they need to do and have the information. And uh, for this reason, uh, I created the uh, uh, multidisciplinary specialty clinic. And um, there would be some challenges with regard to epilepsy as well as the uh, pregnancy, but with the help of this clinic, we can guide them through. That is incredible. And speaking of medication and treatment, um, Let's talk about some of the side effects that this medication can have on the pregnant woman and also the baby. Yeah, so some side effects of seizure medications, they're pretty broad, so there's a variety of side effects depending on what medication that you're on. Some medications can have mood side effects. It can be very rare though. And some medications can make you a little sleepy, which is unfortunately a little tricky being pregnant. A lot of times women can feel sleepy, especially second and third trimester. But still, it's important to maintain on medication. And if you're having side effects, discuss that with your physician and try to come up with a plan to either adjust the medication or optimize the medication so that you can tolerate it okay and take it and feel like your normal self and then also prevent seizures because that's very, very important during the pregnancy because seizures can lead to some of these complications you listed, including miscarriage too. So that's what we want to avoid during pregnancy. But the vast majority of women with epilepsy have normal healthy pregnancies and normal healthy baby. And then babies, um, rarely there can be an increased risk of intellectual disability and autism in, with use of some seizure medications, but we generally try to avoid them in pregnancy. And kind of the main one that comes to mind is Depakote, and that's the one that we typically try to avoid during pregnancy, but again, it's always carefully balancing risk versus benefit, and we want to avoid seizures first and foremost. Absolutely, really important information. Thank you both for coming on today and really educating our viewers and also us about such an important topic. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'd just like to tell the viewers that we are here to help them. And they can uh, definitely come to our clinic. Thank you. Absolutely, thank you. We'll be right back.